And local families are feeling pressured by flyers offering to buy their homes in order to flip them. The offers are low, and there's a promise of a quick turnaround. Today, Austin City Council took steps to educate struggling homeowners who are worried someone's taking advantage of them. KXAN's Kylie McGivern went to South Austin, where this practice has become the norm. I'll get one, probably one a week. But Judy Jillian is very clear her home is not for sale. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Not now. I feel like half the time sending the card back with a note on it that says, yeah, I'll sell you my house for a million dollars. Julian lives off South First in Stastny, what used to be considered the outskirts. And now it's South Central Austin. And the city says prime territory for quick house flipping, increasing home prices in areas that used to be considered affordable. We paid $47,000 when we bought this house in 1983. Because of that, people who aren't tapped into the market may consider what's a really low offer, under 200000 a good deal. It makes me feel like they're taking advantage of people who might not know. I want to buy your property. No pressure. We've been trying to reach you. It's important. I can pay you cash for your house as is. These are just some of the examples of the mailers people are getting in Southeast Austin, including Councilmember Delia Garza. It feels very predatory. Garza is leading the council effort to empower homeowners through education and outreach to help families avoid fraud. Maybe this, our state legislature could take this up and, and really define it as predatory. Uh, but right now, I don't think there's anything that prevents people from doing this. So homeowners like Julian have to protect themselves. You have to be your own best advocate. Kylie McGivern, KXDN News. We spoke with a realtor who says going through that route will ultimately provide protection because professionals use the Austin MLS system or the multiple listing service. It increases a home's exposure. And gives every buyer an opportunity to see the house and make an offer on the house. And through that process, if a house is accidentally underpriced or for whatever reason, the market will drive the price up through bids. Council members directed the Austin City Manager to come back with an estimated budget for the educational campaign no later than June 28th. Tax appraisal started coming out earlier this month and values are up, meaning you'll pay more to stay in your home. People in Travis County are seeing an average of an 8% increase. People um, east of I-35 are seeing a higher appreciation at about 12%. In Williamson County, it also went up about 8%.